science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. It's time to go full steam ahead with another experiment. Today, we're asking the question, how do birds fly? We all know that birds are experts at flying, but how? Well, their bodies are specifically designed for flying with a streamlined body shape and feathers that all point backwards to make it easier for the wind to carry them. A large breastbone shaped like the bottom of a ship helps to provide space for strong breast muscles. Birds also have specific features that reduce their weight and defy gravity, like a pneumatic bone structure. This means that their bones have large holes or pores in them, making them very lightweight. Birds have beaks instead of teeth, which would change their balance and increase their weight. Feathers on the outside of the body are waterproof, so that the bird stays almost the same weight no matter the weather. It's no wonder early scientists looked to birds when they tried to figure out how humans could fly. What do you think are common features between birds and airplanes? Here's a hint. It's the same for both. Wings! Using that principle, we're going to build a paper airplane. At Kid Tech Nation, we believe in safety first. So, before attempting any experiments, always ask your parents' permission. And make sure you clean up any mess afterwards. Flight is a combination of four factors. Gravity, lift, force, and drag. For this experiment, all you'll need is some paper, a big room, and if you'd like, some crayons or markers to give your plane a sleek look. First, try making our complex airplane. Now, try making the simple airplane. Which one flies better? Why? Are there any changes you can make to help it fly better? Take flight today. Head to kidtechnation.com and check out the Discovery Lab for this and other incredible experiments.